Hello and welcome to the special edition of Talk Time. My guest today is veteran Congress leader and former Chief Minister Mr. Torun Gogoi, known for his frank, direct responses, even blunt, to issues concerning Assam and the rest of the country. Mr. Torun Gogoi, once again, welcome to Talk Time and also welcome to the studios of Northeast Life. Thank you. You see, there is little over 18 months left yeah. for the next assembly yeah. elections in Assam. Yeah. As a veteran congressman, are you satisfied, are you happy with the preparedness of your party, that is the Congress, to face the elections after the 2016 defeat? No, we have to further gear up. Yeah. Gear up all sections, with the Youth Congress, with the Mahila Congress, Sabadal, NSUI, even all other cells also, including the labor cell also, yeah. whether the tribal cells, all everything, we have to further gear up. That's no doubt about it. So, unless we gear up or vigorously campaign, go to the people, definitely challenges are yeah. big. Mm -hmm. I don't say challenges are very easy, because they are in the power, in the board center, in the state. Then get also ample resources, and they, they play the role of the well, religious sentiment. They're expert in exploiting the religious sentiments. Uh, that's of course, is a great challenge for us. No, but you're saying that are the challenges more because the BJP is a very big party. BJP is a national party, as you yourself said, that it's power in Assam as well as at the center. That makes things all the more difficult for your party. See, more difficult means we have to work more. You see, it doesn't mean uh, we, that we can't match them or we can defeat them. Mm -hmm. Because there are issues. Yes, they are in the power. But the way they have been functioning or the way they have failed to keep up the promises, that will be the main issue. And today, frankly speaking, the economy is so bad, it is completely mess. It is not the Congress allegation or the opposition allegation. Even the IMF, even the Reserve Bank, even the Niti Aayog of their own. But IMF been... at the same time is saying that India will still be among the fastest growing economies. That's it's what the thing. IMF is saying. Thing. Whatever, it's still. But they have the further deteriorated than the UPA government. Yes, maybe. We are not saying, we are talking about India. Right. Now, now you see, when you were saying that you have to work hard, yeah. uh, you know, but the Congress is always put on the defensive when we talk about the leadership issue. Uh, my question is, in Assam, are you the person under whose leadership the party is going to fight the 2021 elections? Are oh. you the leader? You see, I, in fact, a lot of people are suggesting me they but want I, you to be the leader. I want to be leader. A lot of people. I don't say that everybody. Eh? There are differences. I yeah. don't say the differences. Yeah. But still, I say I want to play the role of an advisor, frankly speaking. Because of my age, eh? because possibility of my mobility. Hmm? So, unless you move faster or go to every nook and corner, hmm? mayor sitting here, is not enough. That is the reason for which I have a certain reserves. Mm -hmm. But do you think situation will compel you to take the leadership role? Because who is the alternative to Torun Gogoi in the Assam Congress? Oh, that will do situation will decide. But then is supposing I don't take a responsibility. Somebody has to take a responsibility. Today, of course, there are leaders. Not that I don't say. Because CLP is there. PCC is there. They are the two leaders, no doubt about it. Today. So, you are saying the two leaders are Ripun Bora, who is heading the PCC, Definitely and Devabrata Saikya, who is heading the CLP. CLP. So, Definitely. these are the two leaders. Two leaders, mm -hmm. heading the party, officially. Right. Officially, they are the leaders. But are you saying that unofficially, you are the top boss? No, no, I don't say, I'm, I can't say. It is the people who decide. Yeah. Whether people will accept me. Uh, Do you have doubts? I don't have a doubts. Okay. But, I, but it is the people who will decide ultimately. But people are, I'm happy with the people because, <laughs> because wherever I go, you see, I get a good response from the people, wherever I go, whether young people 
or the old people, middle age, wherever I go, I get good response. And the people are expecting me also, there's no doubt about it. Wherever, right. wherever I go, I say, why don't you come? This government has made everything is mess. Even yesterday, I went to uh, what you call the Bissakarma Guba secretary. They are also unhappy. They say this people, government. people are happy to see you. Even the secretary. I'm not talking of the other people. Uh, the government employees, they are telling me yesterday when well, I... What did I tell you? He says, this government is making all sorts of mess. Uh, so why don't see, we are all remembering you. Mm -hmm. That's that's a statement of a government employee uh, performing Vishwakarma Puja in a secretariat. Okay, now you see... Uh, but last, we have to uh, mobilize But them. you have to admit that Congress today is an absolute disarray. There are problems with your national leadership. Uh, you know, the, I mean, after Rahul Gandhi backed out, uh, you have an interim president. Uh, now, in this kind of a scenario, do you think your party, because you, I'm asking you this question because you, you are known for your direct and blunt answers. Um, are you honestly happy? No, no, definitely, yes. The moment, what you call reluctance, I was not happy. The moment he expressed his reluctance. You were not happy with that? I told him also. Rahul Gandhi? Rahul Gandhi. He said, no, I will work, I will not. I said, captain should not run away. You said? Yes, I said, captain should not run away when the war is going on. He said, I am not running away. That is his answer also. He says, no, I will be more active. I will help you also. So that is his answer. See, you had got a very good opportunity when Rahul Gandhi backed out. Uh, he, you, your party had got an extremely good opportunity because the main allegation against the Congress, oh, you are a dynast, you are a rule, but you cannot See, get out the, of the Gandhi the, family. The, the, these are all bogey. These are bogey. You see, I have been the dynast cannot be, be successful in a democracy. Democracy, dynasty has a no place. I must say openly. Otherwise, all the... Dynasty has no place in a democracy. No place. Because ultimately you have to go to the people. You have to get it elected also. Dynasty has no role. Is it sometimes, according to me, it goes huh, against this person also. Are you, are you going to give me the frankest answer of your four decades of yeah, yes. participation with the Congress? I'm asking this question. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you think the Congress today would have done better? Yes. Uh, you know, from Jawaharlal Nehru to Indira Gandhi to Ra Rajiv Gandhi to mm -hmm. Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi and back to Sonia Gandhi. Now the question is, uh, do you think, you, you said that you, in a democracy, dynastic politics or dynasts have no place. Now, do you think the Congress should have at least tried this time? Because you are facing the most strongest opponent in the BJP today. Your opponents were not so strong earlier. So do you think uh, this was the opportunity to give someone from outside the family? He said nobody can uh, cement our unity among them. There is no leader in Congress. Apart from the Gandhis? As present. So isn't it a failure of the 125-year-old party? Not f a failure also. Not to you have... See, you see, what is the alternative to Moody? Tell me what is the alternative to the Moody? Amit Shah? No, Amit Shah is alright. It is because of alright. Two men. Maybe Nitin Gadkari? No. Tell me. The moment he will go, you will see the BJP. So is the Congress waiting for Modi's natural exit? Not natural. He is ultimately because the way he is, all the, all the problem, or what you call, whether it is Jammu and Kashmir, economy, whether the NRC, so all the promises that he has made, hmm, he has, so it's going to fail. No, I'm coming to this question again. Please. You have made a very... Yes, please, carry on. Supposing, yes, popularity is going up. I must admit, popularity is all right. Modi's but popularity is going up. Modi is going us. But Indian economy is going down same way. Individually, his popularity is all right. But people suffering is going more and more. But popularity is what matters to win an election, isn't it? It's still temporary. Uh, if you can deliver economic goods, I must say. If you can reverse the economy, yes, that will be a more challenge for us. His temporary popularity, exploiting the religious sentiment, 
publicity. You see, for example, today he is hugging with Trump. What benefit has he got? No? Hugging we don't want. Hugging politics is very good. Trump is also equally good. Both are good in hugging, eh, making publicity. Mm, so all these things, they are very but, good. But, uh, you know, but, but why, why are you against hugging? No, I am not hugging. You are not against hugging? Hug, I say hugging with what you call sincerity. Okay. Hugging with artificial hugging, I am not. These are artificial hugging. This is the other way. I am not hugging. I also hug whenever I get a chance. But my <laughs> hugging is in, uh, occasionally, of course, we also do artificial. Not yeah. that we don't do it all. That is a political hugging. That, that's what I like best about you, you know, you, you are so frank and, uh, you know, that has paid you rich dividends yeah. in your political career, know. your bluntness. Mm -hmm. Your bluntness. Have, yeah. have, you, have you had an occasion when you were in difficulty because you were too blunt? Yeah. Did you have any occasion? Do you remember? Occasionally anything? we have also. Sonia Gandhi also interesting. I say you are very stubborn, you don't listen to anybody. Yes, Sonia yes. Gandhi told you that. She also many times and she, she told you others also. I say, Madam, you, you misunderstand me. Yeah, you are misunderstand me. Yeah. Yes, of course, I am stubborn on my policy, eh, on my certain decisions. But otherwise, I am amenable also, which, if it is a reasonable also. You are amenable yet, you are blunt but blunt. yet amenable. amenable. Now, coming back to Assam. Uh, now, you see, uh, the Congress party was in power for 15 years. Yeah. Then the BJP was on an upswing from five seats. They won 60 plus seats and they are in power today. Now my question is, if you have to fight the BJP seriously in the next elections, uh, you have to project a leader, project a chief ministerial candidate. Uh, are you in favor of that? No, no, we have to project. Yeah, leader project. at least. At leaders, I don't say the chief minister. At least leader you have to. We say leader has to be projected. Every state election they will see. The, who is going to be the chief ministers if they come to uh, get the majority. Yeah. That's definitely. People also definitely want. So last time also they projected, for example, BJP, Sabanda Sunwa. They clearly projected. Okay, they clearly projected. They had, earlier 2014, they had clearly projected Mr. Modi. Modi also. So they projected clearly also. That's no doubt about it. So we should also do it. Earlier we don't do it. Normally we don't. So now you have to, you have to, you have to give a match here. You have to match. We have to match, or we have to give it as that match is who also. Is that, who is that leader? Because obviously, the leader should be able to, you know, draw crowds. Leader should be able to That's also true. generate interest. That's who also is that most charismatic leader in the Congress and Assam, according see, to you? I don't say who is also. It's a teamwork. Now Congress has to work as a teamwork in Assam. Yes, we don't have a such charismatic leadership. That's I, I must admit. But if you teamwork, sometimes teamwork also pay. You see, earlier also, for example, Sir Bandar Sun was not a very charismatic leader. But uh, the way they projected him, hmm, the way, because earlier also uh, he was not very, as a parliamentarian, all, not that he was very sharp, or as an MLA, he was very sharp in mobilizing public. But the way they projected, mm -hmm. They must, so, you see, because earlier how much crowd he could draw. So, lot of lessons, lot of lessons that the Congress can learn from the BJP? No, no, you see, we have to learn from everybody. From CPI also, CPM also. Hmm? Even occasionally, for example, Krishak Murthy, for ASU also, for example. Mm -hmm. You have to learn lesson from everybody, you see. I don't say that everybody, they don't have any certain qualities. Unless they have got a certain qualities, they can't function or they can't be a leader also. Uh, not all the qualities, not all the principles also. See, uh, when I just suddenly remembered something, you know, when you said you have to learn from everybody, including the ASU. Uh, your speeches in parliament in the 70s, when you first became an MP, for several years, uh, I was going through those speeches. Uh, your language which you used as a congress leader inside parliament, parliament. the Tenor, the hmm. tone of the language, the tenor was almost like what the Asu's Asu, language. Yes, yes same uh, language. So, where is the difference then? No, that's why I say, you see, there's a problem. You see, certain people, they don't speak out. Is there the, for example, when, what you call, 
uh, not only Congress, uh, when the, what you call Sorbando or the BJP, they yeah. are in the Delhi. They don't talk about, the, about some injustice. Supposing special status has been taken away. True. They are, why they are silent? I don't understand. Eh? You see, for example, North is also this industrial, what you call, promotion policy. They incentive it. North is industrial promotion policy. Uh, policy. Yeah. Now they say North is industrial schemes. And they are unhappy. They say now I'm going to revise. You see, this is the... Even then they are keeping mum. If you keep mum, for example, today, keep. Meghalaya Chief Minister could speak. Nagaland Chief Minister speak. Then our You're Chief Minister... Why, why they... Why, why? Can't, we, can't. Cap, I'll come to some of these issues in a while. Uh, Mr. Torngogo, there, as expected, extremely straightforward so far. And I hope in the coming section of the interview, he will be equally direct in his responses. On that note, I go for a short break. Don't go away. I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm in conversation with Mr. Tarun Gogoi, veteran Congress leader and former chief minister of Assam. Uh, Mr. Gogoi, you know, last couple of years, we have been hearing of the NRC. Mm -hmm. Now, finally, mm -hmm. NRC has been published. We have heard that they've spent almost rupees 1500 crore. 50,000 plus government employees were doing nothing mm -hmm. other than engaged in the NRC work. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are now saying this 50,000 people engaged in the NRC process. Mm -hmm. It has, uh, you know, impacted on the state's other sectors. And now, mm -hmm. forget about your party, forget about everybody. Ev almost across the board, everyone seems to be unhappy with the NRC. What is your view on but this I, whole list? You see, I'm also most unhappy because that was my baby. Uh, it was I who started it. Uh, it was during my tenure also. So the 2005, uh, with the ASU, of course, uh, we went to the Prime Ministers and he agreed with the tripartite. Then we started into it and then. Beside also, we started. There is a song wrong inter interpretation that NRC was started because of the intervention of what you call direction of the Supreme Court. This is not. Uh, it is absolutely not. You see, you have already taken a decision 2005, 2010 already started pilot True. project. After that also we started also. Yes, they are monitoring it. Today, the way the BJP has implemented, central government, I am talking of the, this is the responsibility of the Home Ministry. Hmm? Register General of in, uh, yeah. India. Uh, he is the authority and he, is an implementing authority. The way they have completed, maybe intentional also. Intentional because they wanted to bring the cab. Cab and NRC cannot go together. Cab and NRC cannot go together. Now, what is your problem with the NRC? The BJP is very clear. BJP is saying that we almost, they have not said reject, but almost interpretation. We can interpret that BJP is absolutely unhappy with the NRC in the present form. Um, they are saying that uh, names of Indian nationals in large numbers have been left behind, while names of apparent illegal migrants have found place. Mm. Therefore, we don't want this NRC, and they're even talking about a national level NRC where Assam is going to be a part. They're saying that we are going to we're going to demand that. Mm. So now, 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 this entire exercise will be uh, futile. Waste of money. I want that NRC. We are not rejecting it. We as we say, it is a faulty one. Is uh, you have made it a what, waste paper, make it a valuable paper, valuable paper to make it rectify it. Rectify so that means re-verification. You re want re-verification. Re-verification. By re-verification, and I wrote to the Supreme Court Chief Justice Ranjan Gogoi also, eh, that the way they have been implemented, hmm, large number of eh, lakhs of lakhs, what you call Indian citizens, according to me. More Indian citizens are left out compared to the inclusion of foreigners. That's I have no doubt. Let them prove it. This I am still I am challenging. Now you see, uh, there is no doubt that Indian nationals have been left behind because yeah. we have seen coach Rajbongsi is protesting. Yeah. We have seen the Bengali Hindus who have 
have the genuine refugee certificates. Yes, yes. That refugee certificate has not been taken into that account. Not to speak of refugee. For example, in Jorhat, he said there was a Robidas. He was born there. Not only born there. 66, he was with me, municipality commissioner. What more evidence they need? 66, he is a municipality commissioner. He was born and uh, so, even then he was also excluded. So Don't forget do you, about. Yeah. You see, uh, even the government's have been. Yesterday I saw two police officers, still they are officers. They are left out. So what is this? One Guwahati University professor. Pro professor also left out. left out. True. You see, so many people are left out. Even MLS. Easy, that's AIDF MLS. One MLS wife is also left out. Even but serving defense officials are left out. Defense officials are left out. Now, now you see, why do you think this has happened and what is the road you ahead? See, the, now, now the people are saying, oh, you go to the tribunal, but it's no, not an easy matter. No, no, why they will go? My question, you cannot force them to go. You are not declared as a foreigner. On the other hand, he says, we are not declaring them, they are not foreigners. Then why they will go? Who will go to foreigners? Why so they what, will what went wrong? Where was the where was the error? Is it callousness? Do you weigh the callousness? Do you weigh hajala? Huh? He should be punished, according to me. He should be punished. Do you weigh the way? Lot of people have committed suicide. Huh? No, Lot of people can are you really today. hold one person responsible? No, no. Definitely, no, as a head, definitely, he is responsible. Then Chief Minister also, I am whole responsible. What he is doing? But why, see, why Chief Minister, you see, after, after publication of, after publication of what you call, definitely I will hold responsible Omit Shah, who is a Home Minister now. Earlier Home Minister of Sir Rajnath Singh, yeah. He is just boat, because this is under his ministry. They didn't, you see, bother about it. They didn't, you see, hold meeting regularly. They should have been. They should have reviewed the matter regularly. Even after the first publication, where forty lakhs were, on the other hand, Home Minister was so casual. He declared all 40 lakhs, what you call as a foreigners, they are described as a termites. They say they will be deported. Right. right. So that means, yes, you so are right. right now, Rightly, I hold responsibility <coughs> Omit Shah as a Home Minister. But now you want the NRC then, to be... Then, then Chief Minister, <coughs> what you call uh, Sarbandar Sunwal, what he is doing? Is it not this responsible to see the Chief Minister of Assam. That the answer genuine, to that, the answer to that will be that yes, this is a, this was a Supreme Court monitored process. No monitor. Who said that you cannot in, uh, look into it? Who are they doing it? Monitoring is different. As they give direction, the state government uh, cannot look into it to see that genuine Indian citizens are included. Hmm? Now, now you, you see, see, these are all bogey. Hmm. According now, to me, I also. Uh, you see, the Supreme Court also to extend, they should have <laughs> hold responsible to the Home Minister and the Registrar General. He, so, instead, instead of uh, <coughs> giving too much importance now, to Hazala. Now, yeah. Now, now you want that the NRC should be rectified Rectified. and re-verification is the way out. Very way out. In the meantime, those genuine Indian nationals, you are saying that why should they go to the tribunals? Yeah, why should they go? Okay, so this part needs to be clarified, but I cannot uh, only discuss this issue. But now let's go to the cab. You referred to it, Citizenship Amendment Bill. Yes. Now the BJP has made it very clear, uh, uh, you know, that cab will be introduced in a winter session of parliament. It will be in a new form where there could be a cut-off date also. And it has been made clear that existing safeguards for the notice like Article 371 uh, as well as inner line permit will not be affected by cab. So, in this new format, what is your opposition? You should have no opposition now. No, we have opposition. You see, it will it will throw away NRC. You see, NRC cut-off date is di different. Here, cut-off difference. Here, you see, you are what you call citizenship. We are going to confer on the basis of a religion, which is against the 
with the principle of against not only in our constitution, even the whole world, nowhere a citizenship is conferred on the basis of a religion. Yes. First time I have seen in India, I, and that is the constitution. Is I take it? your point, but the counter argument from the BJP mm. is that where are the Hindus going to go? Is, is India not the natural refuse for Hindus in difficulty? You see, for example, will the Muslim will say, even today Pakistan has not said, that if the Muslims are what you call atrocities or committed something wrong, where they will go? Will they welcome it? Saudi Arabia, will they welcome it? Any Christian or the, or supposing any Christian is, so many Christians, they have been what you call, uh, somebody has committed atrocities. Will the UK or America, Will they uh, say where they will go? So this is not the way. If anybody is so you don't you don't quite buy that argument. I don't buy it. This is, is against the human rights. Yes, if there somebody is persecuted, irrespective of religions, you give shelter. Giving shelter, refusing have been now also come. Now also many people have you see wherever they committed atrocity, they have gone to the foreign countries. Mm -hmm. Here yeah, that lady also there, eh? Bangladesh. Tasliman Asri. Tasliman, yes, we have given. Dalai Lama, we have also given. So in Sinsata, you do it. But they have not given citizenship. All right. Now, uh, before I go into the next section, I will go for another short break. Don't go away. I'll be right back in conversation with Mr. Torun Gogoi, veteran Congress leader and former Chief Minister of Assam. <laughs> Welcome back. I am in conversation with Mr. Torun Gogoi. Uh, Mr. Gogoi, you know, the BJP had talked in the last five years or so, they have been saying that, okay, we are trying to have a Congress mukt Northeast. And today, they have been able to achieve this because the eight states in the Northeast have been the strongholds of the Congress party. You know, this was one of the bastions of the Congress party and today, the BJP's slogan of a Congress moved Northeast has become a reality. Your assessment, why has it happened? Why has the Congress sort of sunk to an all-time low as far as the Northeast is concerned? You see, I'll tell you, that's a wrong conception. Northeast also, except Assam and Manipur, rest always. You see, where the Meghalaya Congress was there? Mizoram was there. Mizoram, subsequently they came. You see, they were all regional parties. You see, all were there. You see? They were not. Even Nagaland also. Even Arunachal, you see, they, you don't know. And these smaller states, they have to go along with the center. You see? So, the, uh, yes, Assam, of course. We lost it. We lost earlier also. Not only the big party like BJP, we lost even Prabhupada Mohan also. Prabhupada Mohan a small party confined to the state also, then the other resources are limited. In spite of that, we lost also. We lost badly also, not that we didn't lose. You see, we lost twice. Earlier also, we lost uh, what you call 78. Hmm? Janta Party came here. Ibn Asa. Yeah. That time also, we lost very badly, if you see in the number those days also. So, yes, sometimes True. setback. We are there. So you you don't consider that, uh, but 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 the fact remains that you are not in power in any of the eight states because there used to be a time when you were in power in at least six of the seven states that even before Sikkim was created. You will see, democracy is means. Changes is government. Yes, they want to make a Congress mukt. They want. They to want to make a Congress mukt Bharat. Bharat. They want to want all opposition mukt Bharat. They want a one language. One culture, one party, that is their theme. Only Hindutva. I am dead against. Only one religion. Do you really think they want to make a one party yes. nation? Yes. One party nation. Hindutta. That is, they, they have been all along telling, do you want no, a but, Hindutta? But I, I, I am a dead against of Hindutta. But yes, I am for Indianness. I am for Indianness. You see, they have been talking. 
and that is the only slogan by dividing the people you see they want to do why what they, why they what they, they have done on 370 in jammu and kashmir mm -hmm. hmm? oh that it is because you are not going to remove 371 why did you remove 370 Even in China, but the argument is that 370 was temporary, whereas 371 is not temporary. Who says that? what you call 370 is a permanent one under accession? Is under what? You see, that is according to me. Is oh, if you want to remove it, you discuss with them without discussing, without taking into account. Today, you are trying to convince people in Guwahati, not there. What is this? This leader, whether Ram Mada or whether minister, went to some leader's house, eh, even the vice chancellor house, even Bora, eh, Saitya Sabha's ex-president, to convince 377. It is a ridiculous. Go to Kashmir, convince them. Hmm? You see, that is also. Go to Kashmir and convince them. What you are saying? Saying yes. Go to Kashmir. No, no, no. You know. the bjp has alliances let's talk about the northeast mm. the bjp has been able to stage up solid mm. alliances yeah. take the case of the northeast where is you, you uh, the congress doesn't have a single ally uh, you don't have a single ally in assam for example no, no, uh, why why is it because that is giving the, the bjp see, see, rich dividends yes. is it because regional parties do not want to side with the congress you see they will side the moment you come to power bpf with whom alia and he has already been telling he said i am with the party in power the moment will come to delhi they will come it was he their statement this is not my statement this is their statement you see most of the regional party they want to be with the power definitely because they are small party to run is very difficult they need some financial some other benefit so they go along with it is it for example earlier all development council which i they were with me yeah and today they are with the uh, bjp mm -hmm. because they need financial help financial others that's why and they way they put what you call all sorts of harassment is they are putting behind the what you call uh, sinambaram in jail and his son but they are not taking any case But Mukul Roy even true, but the point this is this is my case. See, the why they are so not taking. So that is your argument. My question is, my question so is. So one law is for us. Yeah, but but so why is it? Thing. Why is it? Is a lot of people have joined BJP because is the way they are making all sorts of what you call coercion. Definitely some mistake here and there. They are using CBI. They are using UDF. You are using everybody. So naturally there is a large no. number of people. No, but they but, go. But you know, but why is the Congress in such great disarray today? You are not being able to make come up with a counter narrative. It's ju it's just allegations no, that you are not. No, no, no. It's a no, fact. My, my no, it's not is, Congress. It is everybody. Everybody is fact. The way they go into it is a fact. This they is are this is common no, in this as country. As Whenever there is a change in no, government, no, what, you want it? to teach your opponents a lesson. No, we have never done. You use no. the CBI. Is it? See the Congress. Is it? I I was in 15 years. Yeah. Did I take against Prabhu Monter or anybody's ministry? There are allegations those days. No, no. See, take the case of dismissal of governments. Article three fifty six. Also, we also I think, I think I think during the Congress's regime, the maximum That number of governments were dismissed. Yes. BJP also, has not dismissed no, no, a single why, government. No, no, no. It's a single business. BJP. They also the way they were another way. They cannot do it also now. Now no government because of the Supreme Court ruling. Now BJP also cannot do it. It can be reviewed. Earlier, yes. No, my question now. My, I'm coming back to my question. You see, you are a veteran congressman. You were noticed by Mrs. Indira Gandhi. You were handpicked by Rajiv Gandhi. You were made the Joint Secretary along with, uh, you know, Margaret Alva and some of the other leaders of your time. Uh, you know, you were in the inner circle of uh, Rajiv Gandhi those days. Uh, you know, as a young boy, you watched Jawaharlal Nehru speak. uh rallies in assam so on and so forth but my question is today the congress leadership is in shambles and whatever allegations and points you are raising 
lot of other Congress leaders are also raising, but they're raising not it only at an individual, Congress, individual level. I say, but you're not but, but, able to. By yeah. opposition party. Okay, but my question is. I'm not talking, counter, these are my, my allegations. I know. Counter the, the, narrative. These allegations are, you see the TV channel. Yeah. They will always mean Mukul. They will make a Hamanta Bishwas. This is not I. No, but He's that's all fine. Somebody is saying something. But is my point is, is how the counter narrative, the broad why, counter why, why narrative. They, why they don't go to law as a defamation case? Ma, Hamanta Bishwas, he could file a defamation case. Why he could not file a defamation case against Muhammad I on all the TV channels? Why? No, he has filed. He has filed a defamation case. Against he has me. filed several people. He has filed ag against you as well. Others they have not filed. Uh, no, he has you. not filed till today. So till today he has not filed. I have never seen. Otherwise, okay. he, he he will get all so, sorts of publicity. Okay. Uh, okay. That now, is, I say. Now the, hmm? no, no, I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to go into individual. My point is, my point. I'm is, not again. I'm talking about law. Law is no, applicable. Uh, my, I have a general question. You my, see, my I, bigger I, point. I'm not that again. I know. You see, my question is, one law is applicable to us. One law is applicable to BJP supporters. This is like not only that his is, case. That is the point you are making. I'm not talking about his. But, even Sinmoy, yeah. Sinmoy, but you have not answered my question. Even the rap case. Yeah, but you have. See, you have, these are the what you call. The one law applicable to uh, that's why I say they are using all sorts of one is religious, one is to divert the attention, one is coercive matter. But Mr. Tronkogo, you know things better than me. We are a big democracy. Yes. Nobody can stop a political party to make their point of view before the people. Yes. Now, but, but they now, have stopped it. Now, the, they have stopped it in Jammu and Kashmir. That why? Is where you see, I'm now no, on no, my case is. Let us not no, why should I not talk? You see, since you, Kashmir is a part of India, right? that's a problem. Kashmir is a very much part of India. I'm concerned Kashmir also. Right? So the today Kashmiris are whatever. Even one has to go with the Supreme Court permission. I've never seen. Yeah. You see, even yesterday also I saw yeah. to meet uh, Mufti's um, that. Daughter or no, Mapte daughter, not daughter, his granddaughter, to meet his mother. She had to take permission from Supreme Court. True. You no, see? No. So that means that type of, so tomorrow it may happen. No. So if they could remove 370, what is the guarantee that no. they will not remove 371? No, my question is, my question is, uh, my I have got a broader question. I, you, I you are, a, since you are broader question, I'm, that's why I'm talking yeah, about no, my, my My question is, you know, you see, 2014 you lost the elections yes. and 2019 everybody thought that Congress's performance will be much better but it was only marginally only a couple of seats more 44 and now it is about 53 yes. so just about below 10 seats difference mm -hmm. now the point is that Rahul Gandhi's slogans mm -hmm. were not picked up that is the, that is the general impression yes not picked up by Congress leaders around the country so yes. therefore I'm asking the, the Congress has failed to come up with a counter narrative. In a democracy, there can be a narrative, there can be a counter narrative. See, but counter it. narrative has, you, your see, party has failed. Easy. I don't say, we are taking the issue. Yes, some people accept it, some people have rejected. But even we got also 12 crore vote, they got all 18. Not that we have, people are not buying. Yes, people are not, majority buying their views. Not that people are not buying our views. People are buying our views also. Not that they would not have voted for us. But we can also not forget that, that yes, there majority, are double, triple tracks. You see, which you the, see, definitely majority are buying them. That I must accept. It doesn't mean that eh, our views are not accepted. Otherwise, they would not have voted us. Right. Now, now if, if we, even on 370, uh, you know, people like Madhavra, uh, Jyotiraditya, Sindhya and all, they have supported 370's withdrawal. Yes, whatever they support, has the situation has improved? Has 370 has improved the situation? Had it improved? Yes. I said, this is my wrong. Further deteriorated. No, you are saying, you are saying that, you know, people are joining the BJP. Now, take the case of the Congress party. Take the case of Assam. Let's not talk about the country. Let's talk about Assam. Two very senior Congress leaders have recently quit and joined the BJP. That is, one is Mr. Bhubaneswar Kalita, another, another is Gautam Roy. And 
at one point of time, these were important leaders in the Congress party for so long, they were Congress loyalists. So what, what is wrong actually? See, I don't bother. You see, in Split also, D.K. Barua, Congress President, Sarat Singh, all the top leaders, he, they were not with Indiraji. We were the second grade leaders were there. We came up, they were, uh, went nowhere. They went to jungle, we came to power. <laughs> they went to jungle yeah. and you came to power? power. So, w w I don't uh, bother about... No, these two people... I, I don't... See, you see, they are not more than D.K. Borba. They are not more than Sarasina. Hmm? Are they more than Sarasina? What, hmm? what do you predict? <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, uh, <laughs> we journalists always, always like to have some predictions. Now, what is the future of Bhavaneshwar Kalita and Gautam Roy? You see, according to you. They don't have a future. Why? You see, what B BJP is, is the ruling party. The ruling party. What is the future in uh, Hamanta Biswa? I'll tell you. He was second man. He was more powerful with me than BJP today. We have to wait and watch. No, now. But he cannot challenge now. Why? He, he cannot challenge. Not me. I'm not talking. He has got no rights. He cannot challenge. No, he's a but cabinet minister. He's holding general, important no, portfolios. Important portfolio. During my time, during time, he could challenge me also. He could go say he should replace. Can they? Can he say that no? But he, 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 he perhaps wanted to, he, uh, he perhaps demanded your replacement because he must have found something wrong. He may, not, a, may not be finding anything wrong now. Wrong, yes. That's why he is today, why he is refusing to cut the cake. Along oh, that, that is, uh, Mr. Gugoy, that is because he said that that had the picture of picture, what is that? Narendra what Modi is that? there. What is this? There are so many pictures there. there. Is it Manindra picture? No, he said that he will not cut the cake because there is a picture of Narendra Modi and he was you willing see. to cut, cut another cake, you a see, normal what, cake. Whatever may be, there are differences Let's there. We see. You see, for example, can he challenge? What is his future? He will not be made of... Achha, can you... Can, I do can you, say do also... You, do you know? Have, you see, today? You see, for example, I'll tell you, yes. the man who sifted loyalties, Yes, they will go to a certain extent. But but they cannot be the head. But they cannot be the head. Mr. That's Mr. 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 Kugoy. Is it Aji Bhumanasakolta can go to a certain extent? Here also he was a head. He was a PCC president. PCC president. president yes. Here he cannot be. He can be a second man. Hamonto is second man, there also he is a second man. Here no, also here he could have been a first man. Here here uh, he was a chance to become a since, first. Since, since, but there I'll tell you. He has got a no chance. You are, an, you are a very important political... F you, are, you continue to be a very important political figure mm. in Assam mm. and in the because North East and outside. No, no. Because I, I they have a question. No, I am not talking about... You mean, because they also don't take them trust. For example, whether Bhuvanasar Kalita or this is Roy. Yeah. And they were yeah. also make Of course, there yeah. was no allegation My, against Bhuvanasar. Yeah. But they, were, they made an inquiry against... Against what you call, This Roy. Gautam Roy. Yes. Okay. It is government. Mm. Now, now, this government now, making uh, now, Roy. I'm now, happy. Now, now they say now, now see, corruption free. Yeah. I let say me, now we accept the Let me, let me, let me, let me take your response. I have to go for a break. Yeah. Uh, uh, let me take your response. You know, uh, you know, you are you are talking about Himanta Biswa Sharma. Mm. See, you are. I said that you are a very important political figure. Yes. Himanta Biswa Sharma is also a very important yeah, very political figure. You cannot important. deny that. I, I never. Now, my question that's is. That's why I made My question well. is, mm. you are a veteran in the Congress, forty years. Yes. Uh, it's not a matter of joke. You have joke. seen. You have. You have seen it all. Yes. Now, Himanta Biswa Sharma was your biggest challenger. You have to admit that, in the Congress, you, you have know. never faced a rebellion before. No. Nobody dared to challenge your leadership. Yes, it was Himanta it. who challenged your leadership. After that, he came to me also. No, after lot that, of he, no, not after that he came to me. He agreed no, to my. You see, story. He came to me, agreed to me. You see, then he himself but, also. You see, yeah. yes, initially he challenges me because AICC general secretary has encouraged him. And, I'll, I'll and, make an, and I, would you admit? I, would you admit today? You see, without you their, admit, without their, he would not have dared no, to. I'll not, I'll not drag this conversation uh, very long. Because but you are asking. Would, uh, no, answer. no, no, no. Uh, on this topic, on this point, no, my last question on this particular point, Himanto point. Mm -hmm. Now, had Himanto been with the Congress, do you think the Congress would have won? Oh, no, because he was with it, with us in the parliamentary election. 
in his own no, process. No, I am talking about. No, no. I am talking about 2016. I said 14. 14. We no, 14. 14. No, no, no. He, four, was a, he was a rebel, isn't he? Not rebel. He was with us. But he, yeah, he was with you, no, but he was a rebel. No, he campaigned for us. He was a man who made a statement again. He campaigned True. day and night. No, we provided him an extra, what you call helicopter. helicopter. What you are talking? Okay. And in, 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 his, in his own constituency, okay, but, in his but, own constituency, but, 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 but. our MP commission lost. Okay, but 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 he was he was known as an anti gogoi congressman. All right, even then. all right. So good. That was a responsible Congress who has lost. He's anti. But, but you, ad you admit it, like you, hmm. he is a very important political leader in the I, I never say. Otherwise, you say, I never say. No, what are you saying? You, you he, admit. You agree. I, yes, he's important leader. I don't say he's not an Absolutely. Leader. On that note, I go for another short break. Stay on. Don't go away. I'll be right back in this very, very engaging conversation with Mr. Torun Gogoi. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm still in conversation with Mr. Torun Gogoi. Uh, what could be the issues that could dominate the next assembly elections in Assam, according to you? You see complete failure. They have promised to provide 25 lakhs of jobs. Jobs will be number one. Jobs? Youth. In matter of providing jobs to the youth, feature of the youth, they have made it what you call uh, bleak. This is number one. Then, you see, whatever they are promising. I am talking about promise, not I am talking about others. Yeah. That about the six communities. They promise it, they, they will make it a, what you call, civil tribes. Hmm? Mm -hmm. uh, that backward, uh, Ahum, Kus, what you call, Moran, Motok, T. Yeah. Hmm? These are the communities. These are, they are completely, they, they, they fail. You see, this is number two. Then, of course, you see, the changes they want to do. Hmm. The corruption fee, for example. Today, the government is most corrupt. I, this I am making allegations. And that's why they are not giving, yesterday also PCC is making it. Why don't give a, what you call, CBI inquiry? Hmm. So, they are making all sorts of mm -hmm. corruption free. Then the foreigners free. Three years has passed. Till today, how many foreigners they have detected? NRC, is, NRC also they have mess. NRC they have mess. They made, you see, earlier there is a foreigners free, corruption free, completely filled, providing jobs, uh, so unemployment. These are the basic, basic issues. Basic, uh, even agriculture also, for example, district. Then communal harmony. Here, uh, that dividing the Hindu Muslims. Cab. Cab. Cab also. Because cab, as I know, I am talking of the divisive policy, dividing Hindu Muslim politics. So these are the, these are going to be some of the issues which the Congress is going to take to the people of Assam. But apart from that, today, considering that Congress is in a back foot across the country and you are facing an important election in Assam where you were in power for 15 years. Yes, yes. Now, that means you, are take, you will have to take the fight extremely seriously yes, because BJP yes. is consolidating every day. Yes. Now, the question is, uh, are you in favor of entering into a pre-poll alliance with another political party in Assam? Yes, yes. I have been all along telling. I have been telling including uh, AIUD default. So, so I'm, I'm your earlier to... equation with the AIUDF is no longer there today. No. Things have changed. Things, no, earlier also we had a discussion. No, but your your famous statement, who is Badruddin? No, no, after that also we had a lot of, this is the last election, MP election, or not, I'm not, <laughs> assembly election, we had a discussion. Uh, but we couldn't come to a settlement. We had a discussion. Even assembly so election also. Your but party, is your party one in the need to go for an alliance with the AIUDF or they are divergent views? No, majority is they are in favor. So, so this time you are going for a pre-poll alliance? Pre-poll, I don't know, but whatever I say, alliance. we are open to alliance, not only AIDF. Yeah. Which, which are the other, other, for example, which are the even other even political even parties even that... If, uh, if they agree for, for example, any other political party, for example, even AGP, for example. If they, I don't say that, huh? earlier also we had a discussion, not that we didn't have a discussion. Also. With the AGP? AGP also. 
earlier means when? The assembly, not parliament. 2016? Yes. 2016 assembly election, the Congress had a discussion with the AGP. Yeah, well, Were you part of the discussion? Yes. So what does this mean? That means one group they agreed, one group not agreed. So are you saying that even in the 21 elections, yeah. you ca we could have a discussion with the AGP? Yeah, yeah. With everybody. CPI, CPI. But is there a filler already from the AGP? No, no not that. No. Now there is no filler. Mm -hmm. Now we have not started, nor with AYDF, nor with, but we say we are open. So which are the other parties? Who, which These are which? the small, smaller parties, CPI, CPM. Left parties. Uh, left parties, even some student organization, youth organization, for example. Well, we're not so, only so, yes, so we're open to all, all, but I don't say that. Yeah. Since oh, we Mr. Not Mr. Mr. Gogoi, all engaging conversations will have to come to an end. Yeah. Uh, you know, but but you know, you've been saying that you have once again indicated that you are going to play an active role yeah. in the elections. Yeah. And what is what what is going to be the role of Mrs. Gogoi? She is going to be very angry this time. No, because she, she has already happy. warned you not no, to no, be in active she, politics. Also, Mrs. Dolly Gogo has already warned you no, no, not she, to be in active politics. And are she, you going to ignore that? She is unhappy, no doubt. You mean everybody say, no, no, you shouldn't take rest. Yeah. That is. But answer my question. What is Mrs. Dolly Gogo going to tell you? Is she going to be happy, unhappy? She, she is going to be unhappy. No, no doubt about it. She is going to be unhappy. She, she feels that I should not have. Mm, take that uh, trouble or you see because of my age not that huh? yeah. because of my age you see he says no he says you should not even contest also forget about taking <laughs> uh, active yeah. role that is her yeah. view also. so but still still we we can see you in active politics in the coming elections definitely i have to be because of the situation demands Otherwise, situation situation demands mr tron gogoi thank, thank you very you, much thank for you your very open much. views on thank this you. special edition of talk time thank you thank you Thank you.